What's up guys, it's Mads, and I'm back to watch another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. This is episode 11. I forgot to mention last time that I was wearing Savage Fenty, and I am again wearing Savage Fenty, so I'll mention it now. Shout out Savage Fenty. Let's get into the episode. Oh, that was quick. She doesn't wear a queen of the mirror at this point. How's that been? Congratulations on your third win. Oh, wow. You got it together. Wow. I'm like right behind Sasha, who is technically the front runner, but I think I'm the front runner in terms of Chris, but you need to serve a talent. So statistically, I want to be in second place, but I'm always going to be in first place. Oh. The girls are so focused on being first place. I feel like Sasha is the only one that's not worried about being in first place and she's in first place. <laughs> if anyone's in first place, Sasha's in first place. But don't get too comfy because the queen is coming for a crown. Yes, I am. I said the queen. Not the beast. Ooh. beast. I'm sure Lucy and Lux have the most fire under their asses because they were both on the top and they both felt like they should have won. It's on. The girls are going to fight. Oh, not Kelly and Michelle. <laughs> what are they still <laughs> I'm over it. Beyonce looks really fun. I loved mine. Yeah. It was so sick. Wait. I, I loved mine. What the hell is that wig? Really beautiful in it. Why weren't you pregnant though? What the hell is that wig? She was very far along when she announced her pregnancy. Did you can see the bump on the red carpet at the orange dress. And you can see it in the preference. I feel like you're insulting me right now. And like, no, I I'm, want I'm that not for insulting her because she actually was pregnant. I'm insulting you because you had a course on. <laughs> Literally Googled the performance. She was rubbing her baby bump. Uh, you can go back and look. I don't have to because I know. I know too because I did the look. The girls are fighting. What did I say? Talent gets you to the finale. Not my name. Girl, you don't even have to worry about the mind games if you know you got the talent. The key and peel to making comedy is to know when to cheat and when to chomp. Now go back to Broad City where you belong. Okay, duos. For today's mini challenge, we're going to celebrate a queer art form. Yes, yes, yes. We are throwing ourselves a Harlem Bow Ball, darling. Oh, no! I do not know enough about the ball scene to comment on it. But I know that the ball scene girlies are not very happy with this season. So I'm just wondering how they're going to react to this. <laughs> Ooh, all the cliches. Um, I, like I said, I really don't have a place to speak on it. But I'm just wondering. If anyone has any more information on it or actually has any knowledge on it, because I don't, please inform me in the comments. I would love to know how you feel about this. Well, let's see it. The category is, I'm so into voguing right now. <laughs> From the house of East Orange, Lux for London. She loves her roll on the floor. Just showed off. Of 
today's mini challenge, snatching the grand prize trophy is Anitra. Okay. Okay. You've won a cash prize. Okay. To me, Sasha won. <laughs> to me, but Sasha's been winning, so. But Sasha won. Drag reminds us to not take life too seriously. So for today's maxi challenge, you'll be performing stand up in front of a live audience. Now, to randomly divide you into comedy duos, you need to reach into this cooler and pull out a can of bubbly sparkling water. Oh, that's fun. Sasha Colby, come pick your bubbly drink. Ooh. Now, Kiki, <laughs> Sasha has mango. Up next, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh, Marsha has blackberry. Oh. Ooh, Lucy got lime. Lux Nora London. Lux, you got lime. <laughs> that means you're with Lucy. I feel like Lucy may struggle with this being with lust. Oh my god! Weren't they fighting this morning? Selena is Didi. Selena got cherry. Anitra, you got mango. That means you are with Sasha. Mistress, pick your poison. I am praying to the drag gods that I will be with the good team this time, bitch. I am ready for my redemption era. Mistress got Blackberry, so she is with Marsha. Oh, my bestie? <laughs> <laughs> now, Selena, you alone have charity. You have a choice. You can choose to perform solo, or you can steal a partner from one of the paired queens. Mm. So, Selena, what say you? I'll steal the queen. Two Scott titties are better than one titty. All right. Which queen do you choose to steal? I'll take Mistress over here. Marsha, 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 you'll be working solo, solo, solo. Uh, <laughs> Anitra, okay, so it's not because you won the mini challenge, you get to decide the order of performance. Later today, you'll workshop your material with Michelle Visage and our extra special guest judge, comedy sensation, Ali Wong. Oh, I forgot a new show. I love your hair for that. Lay it on us, Earl. So opening, we have Marsha. <gasps> Next will be Lux and Lucy. Then Sasha and I. And closing, we have the Divalicious Divas. Okay, I'm Mistress with it. and Selena. I really think that the judges are looking for us to have chemistry. It could be kind of like roasty. I can find something to compliment about you. I can say, oh, you'll give some trim or something like that. And we can come up with some type yeah. of a joke for you to say, like, Goddamn tapeworm gets me every time. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this. This is Lux Noir Paris, uh, Detroit. Uh, London, London, Lux Noir, London. And this is Luki the, Lu I mean, Lucy, you're safe. I mean, Lucy. <laughs> as soon as I, like, sat down, like, I started to notice my vision was getting really spotty in my right eye. And it literally feels like if somebody were to just press on my forehead, my entire brain would just like explode. Like how my head feels right now is how that old lady felt when the dungeon was like, kind of like your vagina. Having a migraine sucks and it would be really hard to work in that environment. But can I just mention the fact that she just keeps pulling out references to Drag Race, which like, same, I do that. But also it feels a little bit weird on the show to keep hearing references from the show. It's like, okay, but now make your own references. And she she has, you know, she has Walk of the duck, that Duck, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's just something I've noticed that I'm like, is anyone else noticing this? I don't want to, like, stop working. Yeah. 
I feel bad for Sasha because I'm not really as useful as I like normally would be. I'm gonna grab an aspirin, get your life. I'll be right back. The headache is really taking over her where she's not really coming up with anything. And this is about teamwork, so I don't know, I'm nervous. Time for me to meet with the comedy coaches, Michelle Massage and Ali Wong. I love her so much. Okay, so I'm opening the show. Oh shit. You're doing it alone and you're opening the show. Mm -hmm. The big advantage okay, is to worry about someone else doing the same fit. Exactly. Because if they do... RuPaul reminds me of Cinderella. She's beautiful. She is blonde. She always has a little raven flying around her fixing her outfits. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> and you can't forget, she sat beside her two evil stepsisters. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, Ross Matthews and Carson Cressley, unfortunately, could not be here tonight. They were recently cast in a remake of Parent Trap. Like the other twins. Not so funny. You can think of something funnier there. Okay. Um, yeah. Something that doesn't make sense. Maybe going with something really serious. Like, they're in rehearsal for Death of Salesman. Sh sure. They're in rehearsal for Magic Mike. That is very funny. I can see it. And then do the log line. Like, Magic Mike, they've lost the magic. <laughs> the magic is gone. Magic is gone. <laughs> That's yeah. the one. Are you ready to show us? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I heard that you have a sugar daddy. <gasps> a sugar daddy? Yeah, I actually do. He's yeah. really nice. I think he has a son. He really has a thing for white girls with no rhythm. Oh. Uh, for white girls with what? No rhythm. Oh, no rhythm. Okay. I don't want to lose any of these, like, great lines you're saying, so just make sure to, like, take your time, because yeah. that's a great punchline. So these two are just going to be roasting each other the whole time. We're basically going to tell, like, hookup stories that go wrong because of our drag personas. Oh, that's unique. Even if we slip up on our nose, it's on the story we can tell because it really happened to us. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a go. I was craving a little Mexican, so I found me a sickening poppy bitch. I dimmed the lights, and I played some seductive music to set the tone. Ooh, what's your favorite song to go up and get freaky to? Geronimo by RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, right, like this one time, right, I was at a Christmas party, and I was dressed as a pregnant Mrs. Claus with a prosthetic belly out to here. And baby, there was this fine piece of trade eyeballing me from across the room. My phone was disconnected, so I gave him my email. I run home, and I lock in, and there's an email and I say, from meet me in the communal laundry room downstairs. That's when I realized he wants myself home. Um, it's taking too oh, long to get to the punchline. Okay. Way too long. I think there's so much fat you can cut. Yeah. Take, like, what is yeah. the funniest part? You want to get to them sooner. Gotcha. If Selena can't get it together, the mistress is just going to have to roll over her and make jokes about how she cannot get it together. Luckily, I feel much better now. I got some, like, meds and pills in, so I'm good. I mean, this is RuPaul's fucking drag race, and I'm not laying down for nothing. So, Anitra, I heard about your ocular migraines. I can tell you that they're nothing to worry about. Okay. So familiar with them. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman over Thank here. You. I had no I idea. Can't do. <laughs> what do you mean they're nothing to worry about? It obviously hurts and bothers her. And this is a timed competition. And she has to take away time when her head's pounding and she can't see. So, <laughs> anyways, Michelle, love you, girl. <laughs> when I sat down to write, the pain was so excruciating that all I could think about was my headache. Okay. So I kind of just ran with that. Okay. I'm dealing with the mic with a migraine currently, bigger than Mistress and Lux's ego combined. Oh, yes. It's an inside joke. Are we gonna get it? Right. Right. You never want to do an inside joke that we won't get. Okay. Yeah. My head is throbbing harder than Selena during Pride season. To, to Selena, she... Strapping it. Okay. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, wait. They aren't bad. I mean, obviously, she was talking from the point of view and the moment that she was writing the jokes, but they're still kind of funny. There was still comedy in there. It wasn't really an inside joke. What did we really need to know? She just told us. Her head hurts. <laughs> Lucky for my man, my head is an absolute mess. Why is your man lucky if you can't get head? Yeah. Girl, it's not going well. I'm trying to figure out the headache. Michelle! Michelle! Are we being serious right now? 
If it's messy. It's sloppy, girl. Come on. Who wants some dry head? <laughs> Who wants some clean head? You want it to be messy. Okay, I'm getting carried away, but seriously, what is going on? Trying to figure out the headache jokes is making my headache worse. Should I scrap the headache? Uh, maybe. When are you they want you to scrap the headache. The I don't know. There are jokes in you, Anitra. Sasha can help you. You're a team. Yeah. You go down, she probably goes down. So it's important to look out for one another in this situation. Well, that felt like a setup. Hmm. I don't have much else to say about that. That just... If I mess up, it's like all on me. I will admit, being alone in a challenge like this, don't let it like throw you off. Girl. I feel like if you get thrown off, it's gonna be like even worse for you because you don't have someone else to pick up the slack. Exactly. It's like, oh, that's true it's too. only, it's only you. Let them psych her out. Oh, you think that's what's happening? That move is shady. Welcome to the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. My favorite straight man, Michelle Vassal. Well, you know what they say, Ru. You are what you eat. <laughs> Michelle was looking so damn good. This week we challenged our queens to make us crack a smile at the Bubbly Comedy Festival. And tonight on the runway, category is Rip Her to Shreds. Racers. Start your engines and may the best drag queen win. From the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race, it's the Bubbly Comedy Festival. Please give a warm welcome to Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Oh my gosh, look at these faces. My name is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm sort of a newer drag queen, so being here has felt a lot like puberty to me. You know, my, my body is changing. I'm, re I'm like discovering a lot of insecurities that I didn't know that I had, but guess what? I'm finally a B cup. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, another journey that I've really been going on since I've been here is with my makeup. When I got here, we'll say uh, I wasn't necessarily doing drag per se. Uh, I was more enhancing my natural beauty. Yeah. And everybody at home kept telling me how pretty I was, which begs the question, where were you when you realized your entire hometown was lying to you? Yeah, I was on television. <laughs> Kind of funny. A round of applause for the judges. This table of okay. applause. You may notice that uh, Ross and Carson are not up there tonight. Unfortunately, they cannot be here. They are filming Die Hard 20 down the street. <laughs> yeah, not exactly what I meant when I wanted more diversity in Hollywood, but you take what you can get. Um, uh, and with that, I think that's my time. Uh, Y'all have been an incredible audience, so welcoming, and it is part of my job as the show opener to introduce our next pair of girls. These two are some of my closest friends in the competition, so I can tell you from a really sincere place that they're both rotted garbage people. <laughs> yeah, Lux Noir London and Lucy LaDuca. Thank you all so much. You know when you were in school and you had to make a paper like five pages long and so you kept just repeating the same sentence different ways? It's kind of how that performance felt. Now first of all, give it up for Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Guys, oh my god, wasn't that such a funny joke? Her comedy wasn't half bad either, am I right? <laughs> you know, Lucy, I'm sure nobody's ever told you this, but you have really nice teeth. Thank you. How do you keep them so white? I whiten them. Oh my god, I didn't think you could get any whiter. Oh wow, okay. Here's how, this is what you do. You take the white strips, okay? Now those pesky directions will tell you 30 minutes. Forget it. Put them on, babe, you go to bed. Oh yeah, yeah. Eight hours Hurt later, so you're bad. gonna wake up and your teeth are gonna be white. They'll be on your pillow, but they will be white. <laughs> Oh, honey, I bet they get so white, they say, can I speak to the manager, please? <laughs> Girl, they get so white, they find my comedy funny. <laughs> I know that's white. <laughs> I heard a nasty rumor that you might have a sugar daddy. A sugar daddy? <gasps> Actually, I do. <laughs> oh, my God. 
feels so sweet, and I hear he has a friend. Wink, wink. Oh, sweetheart, listen. If I wanted a sugar daddy, I could probably get his number from you, right? Oh, yeah, girl, no. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. All right, listen, we got to get out of here, okay? I am late for my lobotomy. <laughs> 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 that was a good job. I was nervous it was just going to be them roasting each other, but I think they did a good job working together. My name is Anitra. I'm from Sin City, Las Vegas. So that means that I have a venereal disease and I can show you a great time. And now, some canned bits. You know, sex is a misdemeanor. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The more you miss, the meaner you get. Oh. <laughs> you know what I love more than Cam Bits is, you know what I love? Yeah, I think I know. I think you 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 know. We love some love concha. Yo, yes. Mama, let's go. Sing me. Oh, All right. Um, What we really want to talk about is... Michelle's huge balls. <laughs> Michelle Visage's balls are so big, she lovingly refers to them as Latrice and Eureka. <laughs> but unlike Latrice and Eureka, Michelle's balls have lasted an entire season of Drag Race. <laughs> Damn! Our time for you is over. Welcome to the stage, our next two divas, Selena as Titties and STDs, Mistress Isabel Brooks. Thank you, good night! Well, that was not good. I feel like Sasha felt like she had to do something as a duo with Anitra, and what they came up with was not good. I don't know if they just didn't have enough time to flesh it out. I mean, they quite literally took jokes from Laganja's stand-up comedy act, and hers was awful. So why would you do that? Do you want yours to be awful? <laughs> That's sad. That's really sad. Well, we might get a really good lip sync. Bingo! 
Bitch, you already know. So when I take that stone from his disco stick so fast. Wait, so what happened? Girl, before I could even get back to the session, he was gone. What? Well, what about the rhinestone? Oh, girl, it's right here. <laughs> oh, what is that? way that was just dragging on. Now it seemed like Selena got it together and didn't drag on as much. But my gosh, mistress, detail after detail that we just did not need. All right, we got another set that might be in the bottom. Pepper is river to shreds of first. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. No shoes, simple. Lucy LaDuca. Yes, I love this. At first, I didn't know how to feel about the makeup, but I love the way it stands out. Box Noir, London. This is so good. I really like the big hair on her. Sasha Colby. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Yes, Sasha. Anitra. This is fierce. Selena I love this idea, but Lucy came out first with a very similar look that I think was executed better. And so I think that hurts this a little bit. The Madonna reference. This is a hot look. Welcome Queens. It's time for the judges to teach. Starting with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. You clearly have such a great stage presence. You just forgot to do that log line for the movie to explain why you picked Die Hard 20. Like if they could have been like Carson and Ross are starring in Top Gun 3. Just the volleyball scene. <laughs> Tonight on the runway, though, I love this look. Lucy did it not too long ago. So if I were you, I would have been a crafty queen and thought of something else to do. Yeah, I didn't even put that together. Lucy did do a look just like that. That was honestly better than that. Lucy LaDuca. What I like about this look is that this is very different for you. It's creepy and rom stokery. It's just so good. And the comedy challenge, you clearly have such a strong stage presence, and that was clear from the jump. And so we had a lot of high expectations, and you really rose to the challenge. It was really great. Girl, those white jokes were so funny to me, honey. I almost fell out of my skin. <laughs> you did a really good job tonight. Yeah, this look and the hands, I didn't even realize. Oh, those are so cool and creepy. Lux, you are London. You were so funny. And like we had talked yesterday about because I couldn't hear some of the words you were saying and I could hear every word you said. You were wonderful together. I thought your timing was good. I thought you were listening to what Lucy was saying. Let me just talk about this look. I'm going to try to talk about it without crying, okay? Because I wore this look in 1986 and it just brings back so many great memories for me because, you know, I was just freak running around. New York City, and if you would ask me if, if I'd be sitting in this seat hosting a television show back then, you know what my answer would have been? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Miss Lux has all the references. She is pulling at Rue's heartstrings and she knows how to. 
Sasha Colby. When you bent that corner, I said, baby, she told that shit up. <laughs> this is why in the comedy challenge, I was like, girl, nah. It's really hard to make new Michelle Visage balls and dick jokes, and you made fresh ones that were really good. But that, that was probably like the peak of the performance. Yeah, I think she got lost in the partnership trying to do it as a duo. I think if she just would have ran with her own joke, she could have done a really good job. Anitra. I just think for you, there were moments like I thought you were lost or scared and I felt like Sasha was doing the heavy lifting. So I wanted more confidence, which is weird because when you come out here and drag, you're powerful. Yeah, I don't really know if stand-up comedy is Anitra's thing. Salinas Titty. Let's talk about the challenge. I want to give you credit because you got to the storyline quicker. I thought it was funny, I thought the execution was good. I think you look absolutely beautiful and I love the story that you're telling. I think I might have been even more excited about this book had it just been a dress made from that blanket and you had really made it couture. I think that would have been something that we've truly never seen on this runway before. Yeah, I see what she's saying with that comment. I think that could have been really cool. With the fact that Lucy just did like almost the same kind of fabric, the same kind of look, kind of dulled her moment for that. Mistress Isabel Brooks. This look tonight, stunning. It's burnt up Marilyn Monroe. It's just fun, it's drag. You also came a long way when we were doing the rehearsal. You were not interacting with Selena that much, but on the day, you guys were really bouncing off of each other. I find it surprising that they didn't mention that she drug on pretty long because that was probably my biggest complaint with hers was that it just kept going and it didn't need to keep going. Thank you ladies, I think we've heard enough. While you untuck in the workroom, the judges and I will deliberate. Right now just between us moral friends. Ooh, we're getting a deliberation. Let's start with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Going first is not always a bad spot she did fine but for this competition at this point you have to do great the thing is she's very green when it comes to drag all right let's move on to lucy latuka in the challenge she was kind of holding court because she's the one with the most experience in this between her and lux and i felt very very comfortable and confident with her i think they could have been tighter as a whole tighter as a whole <laughs> thank you <laughs> Lux Noir London. I thought she was the most improved out of the bunch from yesterday. And on the runway, that look was just smart. Not because it's kissing up to you, which, hey, I'm always here for. The reimagining of this look was so well done. A very smart move, yeah. Sasha Colby. Somehow, the only joke I can remember is Michelle's balls being named Eureka and Latrice. <laughs> <laughs> that was the strongest which is a good sign, because that joke was great, but then it's kind of a bad sign, because I don't really remember the rest of the season. Anitra. Every time she hits the runway, she kills it out here. She's got the best walk in this entire competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the challenge, though, she got so lost in the situation that I don't remember any funny part of her skit. All right, let's talk about Selena. I thought she improved a great deal when Michelle and I watched the rehearsal. We sat through like two presidential administrations. Hundred <laughs> She really cut out a lot and got to the the juicy meat of the story sooner. I could not stand the dress that she was wearing underneath that jacket. Mistress. I thought they worked very well together. I thought they lifted one another up, but the story took a little bit too long for me, and then you could see her setting it up to get to the punchline at the end. All right, silence. I have made my decision. Bring back my girls. Welcome back, ladies. I've made some decisions. Selena as titties and Mistress Isabel Brooks, you are safe. And we step to the back of the stage. Thank you so much. Lucy Laduca and Lux Noir London. Tonight, you had the white stuff. Congratulations, you are both the winners of this show. Yeah, they both did the best. And they both had the best hair tonight, too. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. We needed more, more, more. Sasha Colby, to be blunt, your stoner comedy was a little half-baked. Anitra, you shredded the runway, but your comedy had some holes in it. Sasha Colby, you 
are safe. Marsha, Anitra, I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. Ooh, this should be good. This is your last chance to impress me and save your sex from elimination. The time has come. Did your lip sync for your life. And don't fuck it up. Fuck it up. Anitra, she just, she just mopped the floor. Marsha definitely held her own. She is a good dancer too. But there is something about Anitra's energy. It is just captivating. That was so good. So fun. Did you guys have a fun time watching that too? Comment down below. That might be the best lip sync this season. Next to Sasha and Anitra's. Ladies. I've made my decision. Anitra, Shantae, you stay. Marsha, 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 we've got much more than a hunch that you are gonna be a big, big star. Now, sashay away. Thank you for helping me evolve who I was. Thank you so much. Don't forget the nose. Ow, my heart. I feel really proud of what I've done here. Having just looked at Dan's Denitra and you have actually kind of put up a solid fight, I feel really good. I've pushed my makeup skills. Oh, wait. Grande knows who I am now, so I mean, that's worth $200,000. She just forgot an apostrophe and was like, crap. <laughs> I think she's leaving with a good attitude. I love to see that. She seems like a very new queen, and I think she has a lot further to go, and she did a really great job for her first run on Drag Race. All right, that was episode 11 of season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race. We had one hell of a lip sync and some very interesting stand-up comedy acts. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow all my other socials. They will be linked down below. Until next time, see ya.